First, power on your machine. Prepare your strips of thermal paper by splitting them into two pieces. Place the first piece over mirror one in the back left corner of your machine. Trace the perimeter with your finger to indent the shape on the piece of paper. Unlock your machine. This will let you perform test fires as well as allowing you to freely move the laser head, which will be useful adjusting the later mirrors. Close the lid and press the check mark to fire the laser. Test fires will vary, but check that the mark is round, not clipped, and be sure that it's landing within the mirror parameter. If this first mark is outside of the mirror, loosen or tighten the screws on the back of the machine. This will reposition the tube. Test again to see if it's in frame. The test fire can land anywhere on the mirror. It does not need to be centered. Next, place a strip of thermal paper on mirror two. Use your finger to crease the perimeter. Position it closest to mirror one and test fire. Note the location of the test fire and move it to the front of the machine furthest away from mirror one. Without removing the paper, test fire again. You want the second mark to land in the same position as the first. If it travels, you will need to adjust the screws on mirror one. Mirror one has four screws. To move the mark up, you can evenly tighten the top two screws. To move it down, you can loosen the top two screws. You'll have the same effect doing the opposite. To move up, you can also loosen the bottom two screws. Or to move down, you can tighten the bottom two screws. Since our test fire went higher than the first, we need to lower it. We're going to loosen the top two screws and also tighten the bottom two screws. Test again. When the test fire reaches the same height, we'll move on to adjusting the left and right position. Evenly tightening the left two screws will bring it to the right, while loosening the left two screws will push it left. You can also loosen the right two screws and bring it to the right, or tighten the right two screws and shift it to the left. Our mark was just slightly to the right of our first fire, so we're going to tighten the right two screws. You could achieve a similar effect by loosening the two left screws. Do another set of test fires at the closest and furthest positions from mirror one. Check that the test fires are within the mirror and in the same position. They may not be exact, but be sure that the centers are no more than two millimeters apart. Next, move on to mirror three. Place the thermal paper and crease the perimeter. Move it directly next to mirror 2 and pull it towards the bottom left corner of the bed. You can pull the assembly up to check test fires or to make adjustments, but be sure to bring it down to the bottom of the bed before continuing. With the paper still in place, move the laser head to the bottom right hand corner and test fire. As your test fire gets further from the source, it's normal for the test fire to distort and become blurry. If your test fires shift, you will need to adjust the screws on mirror two. When adjusting mirror two, there will only be three screws. By tightening the bottom screw, the test fire will move down. If you loosen the bottom screw, the test fire will raise. Similarly, you can evenly loosen the top two screws to lower the mark or tighten the top two screws to bring the mark up.
Since our mark was low, we're going to tighten the top two screws as well as loosening the bottom screw. Adjust until both fires are the same height. Next, adjust the left and right position. To move the test fire to the right, tighten the top right screw and loosen the left screw by the same amount. To bring the test fire to the left, tighten the left screw and loosen the right screw evenly. Complete the set of test fires and check that the final position remains on the mirror and that the two marks are no more than 2 millimeters apart. Next, add a strip of thermal paper on the lens just under mirror 3. This is the only time that you will need to align the test fire exactly center. To adjust the position, use the three screws behind mirror 3. Tightening the bottom screw will bring the point down. Loosening the top two screws will also bring it down. If you need the mark to go up, you can also loosen the bottom screw or evenly tighten the top two screws. Ours was too high, so we're going to lower it by tightening the bottom screw. Once it's centered, we'll adjust the left and right. To move left, turn both screws inward by tightening the left and loosening the right screws. To move to the right, loosen the left screw and tighten the right screw. Once your point is centered, perform a test fire in each of the four corners to check that your test fires all land in the center. Lastly, align your red dot diode to the test fire. Occasionally the mirrors will distort the red dot and you may have more than one point. Align the brightest beam to the test fire. Adjust the three screws on the gold bracket near mirror one. Just visually until the center point lines up with the test fire. 